What's up guys, Louis Duran here again, and happy Godzilla month to you all. All the Godzilla fans watching, all the Kaiju fans watching, we have so much to look forward to this month and next month as well. Happy Godzilla month to every Godzilla fan out there. It is just a beautiful, fantastic time to be a Godzilla fan. Who knew that we'd be waiting for a new Japanese Godzilla in 2023, right? Guys, we have a lot of stuff to look forward to this month. We have a new little short clip for Godzilla minus one that I'm about to react to and we have a new official trailer that we're also about to watch as well the second official trailer for Godzilla minus one is about to premiere oh man so exciting so exciting Godzilla minus ones are finally going to be released in Japan November 3rd at the time of this recording I believe it's already out in Japan and yesterday November 1st 2023 I watched Godzilla 2000 on the big screen and may I just say that was a fun opportunity I got to have with my wife her and I enjoyed it on the big screen watching Godzilla 2000 on the big screen was something I definitely did not know I needed as a Godzilla fan or I wanted to experience as a Godzilla fan experiencing it on the big screen was something that I never thought I would actually do I was born just a year too late to experience that in the theater at the time I didn't know I was going to be a Godzilla fan right here I am 22 years later I finally actually got to watch Godzilla 2000 on the big screen and it was just an awesome event to start off Godzilla month. Man, what a way to start off Godzilla month. Just watch Godzilla 2000 on the big screen. A Japanese Godzilla that was made 23 years ago on the big screen. That was just amazing to experience. It was cool finally seeing this design on the big screen, guys, and hearing his roar, seeing Orga on the big screen as well. It was it was cool. It was really, really fitting to start Godzilla month that way. Godzilla versus Jet Jaguar for the suit animation battles Toho is doing as well. Obviously Godzilla Minus One coming out in Japan. November 17th we have Monarch Legacy of Monsters coming out based on the Monsterverse Godzilla and Godzilla X Kong. And then after that Godzilla Minus One comes out in the United States December 1st 2023. Oh man and IMAX 40X. Man I'm just excited guys. Very very excited for what we got coming up in the next month here and December 1st. Man this is going to be a lot of Godzilla content coming out for me and then after Godzilla minus one it's all up to Godzilla X Kong and I have a theory that we will see a trailer for Godzilla X Kong in December. I have a feeling I have a gut feeling we are going to see something. One reaction to this nine second clip that was posted by Godzilla Brazil. Let's see what this nine second clip has to offer. Oh. oh man. So that was just a nine second preview of what we're gonna see in this new trailer oh that looked really cool there was a new shot of godzilla roaring which is really really cool that scene looks like it takes place right after he kind of like gets out of the water and grabs onto that ship that we did see in the official trailer and we did see a brief shot of him getting hit with missiles like on his chest that looked really cool before i even watched the official trailer too did you guys watch godzilla 2000 on the big screen to start off godzilla month let me know in the comments and please let me know if you guys enjoyed the experience and please let me know what you guys even thought about godzilla 2000 if it was your first time watching the movie all right guys we're back here reacting to another little tv spot that toho just released everything is getting wild right now for godzilla at the time of this recording you guys probably did uh, just see me reacting to the small little preview for the official trailer 2 for Godzilla minus 1 and now I'm reacting to another TV spot this is about 15 seconds long and you guys remember the last TV spot they showed a lot they showed Godzilla's new tail ability they showed Godzilla staring down at the humans they showed him swimming after two guys in a boat and let's see what this TV spot has to offer right now Godzilla is going crazy right now guys it's getting there it's getting there man we're only a few hours away at the time of this recording for the official trailer 2 for Godzilla minus 1 Man, oh man, let's just get straight into this right now. Oh. Oh, he looks so good. Oh man, oh man. That was a cool one. I like that. I like that. That was a really cool TV spot. The shot of him 
just roaring, man. Oh, I can't wait to hear what roar he's going to use in that specific scene. Oh, man, that, that was really, really cool here. We got a few new shots of Godzilla getting shot at really, really hard here. That's interesting. Looks like he's actually reacting to these missiles shooting at him while he's in the, in the ocean, it looks like. Oh, man, that's such a cool shot of him just roaring, man. He looks so good, man. And it looks like if you look at his design, take a look at this shot here he's roaring right but if you look at his elbows it looks like he's got like two appendages coming out like two sharp edges that are just coming out of his elbows i wonder if he's gonna use that at all in the film maybe like maybe hit some jets over or something or maybe hit some buildings like that who knows but man that shot is so good of him just roaring that's so sick man we got another shot here of godzilla in the distance this might be the scene where he uses atomic breath maybe maybe he realizes that these battleships are a more of a threat to him than he thought he's really up close to the battleships here it looks like he's either attacking it or he's getting on top of the battleship it kind of looks like he's kind of like crouching onto the battleship there man guys we got a few new shots of the characters as well saluting maybe the army that's going to fight godzilla we have an awesome new shot of godzilla just staring down the atomic bomb that's in front of him not sure what all that's about but guys we are just a few hours away at the time of this recording from the uh, godzilla minus one official trailer two guys right now it's getting crazy there's a lot of stuff going on right now both toho and Godzilla's channel are both live right now with a bunch of Godzilla stuff going on. Godzilla vs. Megalon's short battle with the Godzilla Rex design that just came out, which I'm going to make a separate video on. Oh my goodness, man. I got to watch that too. Man, oh man, guys. So what did you guys think about that TV spot specifically? Oh man, I cannot wait to see what's in this Godzilla um, official trailer too. Oh my goodness, man. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. And I just finished my tribute to Godzilla. My 69 year anniversary video for Godzilla is coming up very soon guys godzilla day is coming please stay tuned for that it's coming up very shortly here on godzilla day i'll see you guys when official trailer 2 comes out <sighs> okay guys we are back we are in the premiere right now for so nervous i'm so nervous we're in the premiere right now here on the phone here for the godzilla minus one official trailer 2 it is now november 3rd godzilla day 2 a.m let's see what this trailer has in store for us man premiere will begin shortly i don't know what to expect oh i just got a notification on the phone that it's live it's been crazy that we're finally here at this point godzilla day is here a lot of people and a lot of american fans are actually in japan right now uh, watching godzilla minus one in japan that's so awesome i want to do that someday right now it's just not the time i know my time will come all right Let's see what this trailer has in store. Oh man. I love it already. Man, that looks awesome. Oh, I like that. Oh, man. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? That was a cool transition. I like that. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Oh, so good. Oh, man. Man, that was 
definitely the American trailer. That was like the, that was not a Japanese trailer. I know that for a fact. That was definitely like a trailer for the American fans and for the general public in America. Wow, man. We did see a few things that we were seeing in a few TV spots that we actually got, but the ending, man, that was crazy. <laughs> Godzilla looks like he's like building up all this energy and he just like unleashed it like quick damn so we're gonna see an atomic breath scene in the daytime that's gonna be crazy that was amazing guys holy moly the beginning of this trailer begins with a shot of a ship that is just completely destroyed and it reminds me so much of the ship that was destroyed in godzilla 1998 it washed up ashore and there was claw marks and everything on it this is what it reminds me of and i think they kind of took that and put that in this movie except in a different way you can see See the ship definitely has a lot of claw marks and is just completely destroyed this trailer is definitely like ooh, one of the better ones in my opinion it looks so good man definitely a trailer that was made for america and for the general public that's not you know in japan you can tell especially with the fonts that they used in this trailer man that ship looks completely destroyed obliterated wow man i love that sound effect that we got when godzilla was under the ship kind of just swimming under it um, the fonts are very interesting i love the way they transition from like words into the scene that's just really cool it looks like the prime minister here is kind of uh, talking in front of a, a lot of people here saying the future of the country is in our hands definitely just feels more of like a crazy horror godzilla movie like what the hell are we gonna really do like this is a, our country we're talking about here japan is really in trouble in this movie what kind of or organism has done this we have a more extended shot of godzilla coming out of the smoke which we did see in godzilla's minus one's official trailer yeah more shots of godzilla destroying the city here we get some trains thrown around Around. we got a cool transition i love so much of inside the train and it just goes past the window out into the outdoors where godzilla is destroying tokyo love the backstory so far they want to protect a daughter of some kind or a niece i don't know who it is they want to protect her and you know save her future so she has a future not destroyed by godzilla <laughs> we got a a shot of Godzilla carrying the train, dragging it up into the sky. That's a really cool shot. I love the detail of the train breaking. We get a more extended shot of Godzilla roaring at the atomic bomb as well, which is really cool. I kind of thought the trailer was going to end there. I was like, no way that was it. <laughs> uh, I love the shot of Godzilla's dorsal plates coming out of the water and Godzilla's head just coming up with it as well. So they, it looks like they planted like a bomb. They either planted a bomb in the water or they, they kind of like launched a bomb onto his dorsal plates maybe. You get a shot of Godzilla swinging his tail once again which we did see in that one tv spot so this is a little bit more extended we get to see him destroy a building he kind of looks at it too while he hits it <laughs> we get a little bit more of an extended shot of godzilla crouching onto the ship either crouching or kind of just destroying the ship and then the ships shoot at him and he kind of like stops he, he kind of feels the pain from these missiles here i like that and then oh my god i already knew something was going to come up here man the people just look so terrified for their life they're just watching this godzilla evolve throughout the movie it looks like they're just kind of stunned on what they're seeing they're seeing like this is exactly how they would react in real life like this is exactly how people would react to godzilla just just randomly protruding his dorsal plates like we see here they protrude from his tail all the way up his back they don't just stop halfway they go all the way up to his like neck and then this scene right here i was so surprised how quick he moved yeah i love this godzilla minus one logo that they, they made that's really nice i love that also when he protrudes them out they go back in and then I guess that's when he freaking blasts his breath. I don't know if he's either blasting his breath or he's got some kind of nuclear pulse ability in this movie. That was so cool, man. I loved every little bit of this. That was cool, guys. Happy Godzilla Day to you all. That was really cool. Definitely worth the wait. I think from here on out, I'm not going to watch anything else Godzilla Minus One. I really want to keep the rest of this movie, you know, a little bit of a secret because I know there's going to be a lot of spoilers out there and I really want to try my best to avoid those spoilers so I can just wait until December 1st when I get my own chance to watch the movie on the big screen for the first time i can wait a month I, I definitely can wait everybody in japan i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed godzilla minus one and it's definitely going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride for people that just want to watch this movie right away <laughs> we can wait until december 1st guys we got monarch legacy of monsters coming up too guys I'll, I'll try my best to review those episodes one by one as they come out hope you guys enjoyed this remember to subscribe and like and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching
ゴジラマイナスワン。